Hello, my name is Gaurav, and we are reading a very interesting book called as Twenty One Days, Twenty One Tips, which was created by the Test Chat community, the members of it, where uh, we'll get a lot of knowledge about testing. And today's topic we are going to do is learn automation. On the screen, you will you are seeing the places to get uh, connected with me. So let's get started. So I have taken notes from this book and I have uh, created a mind map out of it. So today's topic is how you can learn automation. So what uh, the various testers have suggested and some of the things that I have added also uh, based on my experience that can help you. So if you want to learn automation where you can learn. So there are two ways of learning it. There could be more, but that's what is suggested in the book that you can learn via videos and via some people prefer reading. So I used to also do it via blog and I still prefer a lot of times to read it uh, than the videos. But yeah, it, it depends on you. So these are some uh, good channels like Mukesh Otwani Learn Automation, Test Automation University has a lot of courses. Naveen is a famous face in the automation place like you can go to his channels and there are 700 plus videos and automation step by step Raghav Pal. Right and execute automation is also one of the great places where uh, you can learn about various things, be it Docker, Kubernetes. Retarget common is from Amod Mahajan who who explains in very much details. The testing academy is also one of the good channels and uh, last but not the least Amuthan Shaktivel. He's doing a good work and he explains in very much details the testing many bytes. So I have shared these links with you and uh, in the comments, you will find this HTML so that you you can just click on this and I would request you to whenever you visit any of these channels, go to the playlist so that you can have a, a good learning for it because then uh, because otherwise what happens is in Internet, if you search one term and it will take you at many places and uh, you get confused. Right and test automation university already have a set path like you can go to learning path and start. So if you prefer reading, then Mukesh Otwani has a website as well called as Learn Automation and Tools Q is a very good website. I have learned many tools from it and they explained in a very good systematic manner. Uh, this is Make Selenium Easy, which is from Amod Mahajan and this is from Mukesh Otwani and there is one more called as Tools QA. So there uh, they create a hierarchy of things so that you can learn step by step. So if you clear, click on it and you go anywhere Selenium in Java and then you can see step by step and it goes still creating a framework as well. Right framework and design. So these are some good places you can learn automation. And uh, coming back to this. So what you will learn now you know that from where you can learn but what to learn. So first thing that everybody would recommend you is programming language because all the automation tools, most of them are having a programming language behind it. So if you don't understand the basics, it will be difficult for you. So you will think automation is difficult, but uh, you are not realizing that you are not understood the programming language. And first of all, whenever you are learning automation, uh, consider this thing in mind that it's not rocket science, right? It's not very difficult. If you spend time, you can learn it. Oops is uh, important concepts like it. Uh, the ke people keeps on asking in interviews, function overloading, polymorphism, classes, objects. Uh, right. So, what is the other advice? Is uh, you want to start programming language? Start with any language, be it Java, Python, C sharp, and stick to it for some time. Like once you get the basics of it, then only move it. Don't uh, uh, get uh, distracted by LinkedIn or other platforms which gives you that uh, okay you were doing Java for 15 days then you picked Python not like that. So once work for a year at least so that you get the basics of one language then you will not have this question whether I should learn Java or Python because they were all are most of it is same. Some concepts are different but you will get the basics are same in all the languages. So that this will make your uh, base stronger if you know oops concepts and where to start with the automation. So generally for front end people start with Selenium uh, there are many wrapper tools on top of it. But you if understand this one, you can understand them very well. So Postman is for backend like API testing. So you can start with the Postman and once you know these things, then you can practice the frameworks like page object model and keyword driven. There are various uh, frameworks that are there that are being explained by all these uh, automation gurus uh, that are there Mukesh, Naveen and everyone else uh, of whom link I have already shared with you. 
so and try your own examples as well for example while creating the framework you follow a, make a, a, a sample website right but the actual websites are a little bit different then you will face problem and once you start solving those problems your concept will become clear so if somebody is explaining on an example website you can try on amazon and other websites right and the actual website that you see and yeah it takes time it's not uh, it's not rocket science but uh, yeah it's easy but it takes time it needs consistency like all the other learning things you have to keep practicing and you will realize you have learned it okay don't stop don't get disappointed don't compare to others like uh, that some person is there because they have done a lot of hard work that's why they have learned and you will also learn everything will take uh, its own time so yeah you can search this uh, hashtag called as 100 days of code i practiced it i think last year or to last year maybe so you can create a code repository and start add a program daily maybe of array variable string sorting so collections and all that stuff so that you know the basics of it then you can think of because when you directly jump to algorithms and all so then you definitely you will find it hard if you don't have the basics right Okay, so hope you have a good learning. I'll share the link of this book, and this is my channel. You can subscribe to it. Uh, this series is going to be very good. So hope to see you in the next video. We have covered bugs, and this is about learn automation. And there are other concepts related to automation in the book. I'll share. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.